When I started at the Institute, it was really small and Jonas tried to know everyone in the Institute and he would invite new um, postdoctoral fellows to dinner at his house uh, on, the, on the cliffs. So reasonably well, I would say. I mean, he knew who I was and um, we then knew each other for the next uh, 30, 30 years or so. I think he had a lot of vision about uh, what he wanted the Institute to be. And it was a sort of new idea that there should be an institute with multiple different disciplines in it, particularly ranging all the way from uh, the humanities to the hardcore sciences. And he tried to bring people together so they would uh, interact in a, in a totally new way that hadn't been tried before. I think he had a vision for doing, you know, something more than, than um, tackling single problems. He wanted to to have a, a broader uh, perspective on, on human, the human mind and, the, and human diseases and see if he could um, bring together people who could solve the, the sort of bigger problems in, uh, in, in human health by making, you know, it was always intended to be a basic research institute, so making discoveries that could ultimately be used for new types of, uh, of human therapies. So, I, you know, when he started it, I don't know whether he thought this would be his legacy, but it, it has turned out to be. He really has two legacies. One is the polio vaccine and, and the other is this amazing institute which we all uh, work at.